Hello and welcome to another Chem 1A lecture video with Professor Brooks. Today we're going to be learning about reactions between acids and bases. So these, this video is designed to assist you in being able to recognize acids and bases given their molecular formulae, to write or describe an acid-base neutralization reaction, and to identify a neutralization reaction from its balanced chemical equation. First goal is to be able to recognize an acid or a base when we see one written. Acids and bases have several different ways of being defined, but for this purpose, we're simply going to define acids as ionic compounds that when dissolved in water, release hydrogen ions, so H plus, into the solution. Bases are ionic compounds that release hydroxide ions when mixed with water. So if we look at the table below, we'll see that the formula for uh, some commonly known acids begin with hydrogen out front, showing us that hydrogen is the cation in these ionic compounds. The six acids that you see written in black lettering are the six known strong acids. They're known as strong acids because they completely dissociate in water, making them strong electrolytes. You're also given examples of two weak acids, which when added to water will only partially ionize. So some of the molecules will release H plus and others will retain that hydrogen as part of the molecule. On the base side of the table, we see that our bases contain hydroxide as the anion in the ionic formula. So it makes sense that when these strong bases in black are added to water, they're going to release OH- or hydroxide into the solution. Of special interest is ammonia, which is known as a weak base. Ammonia does not have hydroxide as a ion within its formula. Ammonia is actually a covalent compound. However, if we look at the bottom of the table here, we'll see that ammonia produces hydroxide when it's mixed with water. It does this by taking one of the hydrogen atoms away from water so that H2O becomes OH-. In an acid-base reaction, it has this name because we always have to have an acid being mixed with a base, rather than acid reactions or base reactions. These are a paired type of reaction where one molecule is behaving as the acid while the other is behaving as the base. Another name for these types of reactions are neutralization reactions because by mixing acid with base, the um, properties that make an acid acidic are canceled out by the properties that make a base basic. So because acids release H plus into solution and bases release hydroxide into solution, one of the products of any acid-base reaction is going to be water. And this water is formed from the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide anion. The anion from the acid and the cation from the base are also going to combine to form a ionic compound, sometimes called in slang a salt. So here we're seeing a reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide producing water and sodium chloride is the salt. Because uh, acid-base reactions result in the production of a molecular species, liquid water in this case, they do have net ionic equations. So the net ionic equation for any acid-base reaction is the hydrogen ion plus the hydroxide anion form liquid water. The formation of this molecular species is so favorable that when we do mix an acid and a base together, we should expect for the solution to become warm or even hot. 
Some acid-base reactions can result in the formation of a gas. In particular, these are reactions where the base of the reaction is of the carbonate family, either carbonate or bicarbonate. Though these were not in our table earlier, you should note that bicarbonate and carbonate can act as weak bases in that they can abstract a hydrogen um, ion off of water to produce hydroxide, such like ammonia does. So if we were to mix a ionic compound containing bicarbonate or carbonate with an acid, we will get the same starting products that we would expect from an, any acid-base reaction. We will get water and we will get an ionic compound made from the cation of the base and the anion of the acid. In addition, we're also releasing some of the carbon and some of the, the carbon and some of the oxygen as carbon dioxide. This is a common home experiment that you can do by mixing baking soda and vinegar to form sodium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide, as shown in this GIF here. To practice your understanding of acid-base reactions, you can go through the following examples in this slide. Your task will be to complete the reaction and balance it out, showing the product of water and the ionic salt. Then you should go through the reactants, which are what I've already written here, and indicate which reactant is the acid and which reactant is the base. Good luck with this, and I'll see you again soon.